guys so I'm just going to do a quick review video because I've been seeing people um, buying dry shampoo and I, I know like especially now I've seen them like popping up in Holland like crazy dry shampoo everywhere okay so I didn't thought Holland was a country uh, for dry shampoo but I've seen them popping up everywhere and I thought I would um, I would do a little comparison review for you all. Um, I know I just filmed my August favorites, so I think that will be up before this video though. Um, so I'm just going to tell you um, the two products that I've bought and I've tested out and I will tell you my like what I thought about it and which one I would recommend. So the first one I actually bought was this Andre Lhomme um, dry shampoo and this is for volumizing I think this brand is only available in Holland um, but yeah so for the Dutchies out there um, this one is one of the ones available to us um, but yeah um, as you can see I've used this and it just leaves this disgusting white substance on the on the spray and um, yeah this thing doesn't smell good it smells like gas like literally you know the gas what we cook with it smells like that I don't know what's wrong with this um, but I don't like it it doesn't it's not a good dry shampoo either it doesn't do anything for my hair like after I've used this um, and like almost suffocate because of the gas smell it doesn't even smell nice it just um, yeah, it, like my hair is still the same amount greasy and the same amount like no extra volume or anything. It's ridiculous. I don't like this at all and um, I apologize for the noise that's like my light, um, my main light, which has been acting up the entire week. Um, so I don't know if I have to change it or whatever, I don't know. Um, but I apologize for the noise but otherwise I can't film um, so yeah I don't really like this product I regret buying this um, this this is by Unilever this brand is owned by Unilever so if you find a Unilever um, brand like brand that has dry shampoo I wouldn't recommend it this is the Unilever logo if you don't know how it looks like um, but yeah I would not recommend using this one um, it's just a waste of my money basically because it didn't do anything it still left my hair greasy and it didn't give me any volume whatsoever but and then I bought this pr um, this other dry shampoo um, oh yeah this one retails for three euros or 250 250 or three, uh, three euros this is a quite a tiny bottle, it's 75 ml. So yeah. Um, so yeah, the second um, dry shampoo that I tried um, is this Batiste one, and this is their original. And um, it says that it refreshes hair between washes, and it does. Like, I have nothing else to say. Um, this does what it says it, it does. It is a dry shampoo um, that I've used, I'm used to, um, and it just does the work. Um, it does give a little bit of a white glare over your hair, though, so you have to brush it out. But it does what it says. It it is an actual dry shampoo. Um, my hair felt didn't f felt any. There was no grease left in my hair. Um, it looked like I've just. Um, like had my hair shampooed and then just dried it did like it, it did look like clean hair the smell of the Batiste dry shampoo it has a little bit of a lemony smell it's just a really hint of citrus basically um, it does give the white um, the white like um, glare on my hair um, so I do have to brush it out um, really Good before I go out anywhere um, but yeah I do think this works like a charm 
I mean, it does what it says it does. It's a dry shampoo. Nothing um, bad to say about this. Um, I've heard a lot of people saying it's amazing, and I do agree. This is one of the best dry shampoos out there. And um, I also want to say they do have the Batiste dry shampoos in several different um, scents or for several different hair types. I know there's a brunette one, there's like this pink floral one, um, there's another tropical one or something along those lines. So there's quite a few out there. Um, but yeah, I just tried the original because I wanted to know how it did, um, how it worked. And, um, and this was the only one it, they had in like the little travel size. Um, this one is 75 ml as well. No, this is 50 ml, sorry. 50 ml. And um, yeah, I would totally purchase the larger um, can of this. Um, this small one cost me 3 euros, which I think is pretty expensive for dry shampoo. The larger ones are 6 euros, I believe. So they are quite expensive. Um, but yeah, if you don't want to damage your hair too much with actual shampoo and conditioning uh, and you want to use dry shampoo for like the between those shampoo and conditioning washes um, I would definitely recommend Batiste uh, another one that I would recommend as well if you like a, a nice scent is the Lee Stafford one um, I tried that one out a long time ago but I remember I really really liked it um, Lee Stafford um, uh, like their packaging is hot pink and it has like silver lettering I love Lee Stafford products um, but I haven't seen Lee Stafford products in a very long time so I need to go out and go on the hunt for them because I remember I loving their products it, they smell really really good um, so yeah I would recommend either picking up this one if you can't find this one um, and you can find the Lee Stafford one, especially in the UK. If you're living in the UK, you will definitely um, find the Lee Stafford one. Um, I would picking up. I would recommend picking up that one. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my review. I hope it was short. <laughs> um, but um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you know any of the dry shampoos do you think I should try, let me know as well. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!